Let's do it. Oh, my regrowth. The weather the past few days is really weird. Yesterday was overcast but kind of warm. The day before that was literally a summer shorts and t-shirt. And now I don't know what to do. So I've got like a dress and a long sleeve cardigan on. I just guess that's spring with a La Nina cell making its way through. I oh, know it's really weird. Groceries today. I'm really impressed with what I have spent. <laughs> it is school holidays. I'm gonna have to go back to the shop. Well, school holidays start, you know, as of, you know, tomorrow. I'm gonna have to go to the shops and buy more fruit. I know that for a fact. Milk, I'm set. Possibly some crackers and treats for the kids. See how they go. I have learned, I'm a first time mom for school aged children and I have learned the school holiday pattern and my kids eat and eat and eat. And we tend to have lots of kids over and play dates and they get invited to go to people's houses. So I tend to take like a packet of biscuits or something over there. Uh, we cook a lot more. We do like scones and baking and we go through a lot. Um, so I'm gonna have to do like a bit of a top up through the week. I know that, but I spent under $140 this week. I spent $117.50 at Coles. I only got two, maybe three things on sale. Two were half price, which was the hand soap and the taco kit. And the other one, I think they had like 30 cent, no, 30% off, which are almost my favorite biscuits. I can't go past the Tim Tams caramel ones. Love them. But they're very sweet, like a fake artificial sweet. These are a natural hazelnut chocolate wafer biscuit and they're heaven they're made in italy they're an italian biscuit that's the brand of them there they come out with a bunch of different things um different biscuits and i think maybe some chocolates as well these are really really nice so these are becoming a favorite of mine as a treat uh once a day i will have one maybe two of them but there's only six in a pack so they've got other ones they've got like nuts all over them they're really good. So they were the only things on sale. So everything else I was just very strategic about purchasing. And then my fruit and veg came to $21. I'm going to have to pop out and probably buy like a watermelon, a rock melon and more bananas because school holidays, my kids just snack and eat and snack and eat. And when we go out, I tend to make lots of fruit and crackers when we go out. Um, I try and give the kids a break from sandwiches because he has that every single day for school. Uh, but let me turn you around and show you what I've got. I've got a few new things to try this week too. Um, just randomly looked at some things that were like cheap per kilo or per price point and I thought I'd give them a go. I'm set for milk. I still have a full one and about that much left in the fridge, but we're gonna go through it. The kids are gonna want pancakes. I use milk for pancakes, milkshakes, hot chocolates. I'm gonna need more coffee to survive. So we will go through the milk. Kids' favorite chicken nuggets. We were out the other night and we were going, as in we had none left in the freezer and I planned to do chicken nuggets for them and I had to give them fish instead, which was kind of a win because I had fish fingers that had been sitting there for ages and the kids ate them. So I'm like, tick, done. That's emptied out the freezer. So chicken nuggets. These are really nice chicken nuggets. Crunchy. I air fry them, but I have put them in the oven before. The kids love them. They love the texture of them. Um, they're actual chicken bits inside, not like a, you know how some chicken nuggets are a bit off in the texture. These are really nice. Something new I'm trying. I wanted to see if Coles had any frozen chicken meatballs. My Coles didn't, but I found these here, mini Kiev balls, and I thought I'd give them a go. I don't know the actual price of them, but they were a pretty good price point, so I thought, well, let's just give it a go and see. Maybe a snack through school holidays, an afternoon school snack, chuck them in the air fryer for 10 minutes, put them out with maybe like some carrot and celery. Who knows, maybe some cheese, maybe a sandwich as well. My kids just eat and eat, so anything to fill them up. So I thought I'd give these a go. The mini chicken Kiev balls, they're the Coles brand in the freezer section. So we'll see how they turn out. 
milk as per usual still doing Norco. i'm still supporting them prices like i said last week have gone up but i'm trying to push through and i think i've proven to myself this week although two weeks ago i had a massive grocery shop i think this is really going to help bring my bill down and i am still editing the budget video i've gone through and relooked at our budget you have to relook at your budget given inflation you can't just make this assumption I'll spend $100 on petrol a week. Groceries are $150. It has changed. So I've done a three monthly review. I looked at the past three months and I've worked out our new budget from there. Uh, but I'm happy with what I've spent today, still supporting some more expensive Australian local brands. Um, I did not order the Philadelphia spread. I ordered the Coles one. They didn't have it, so they gave me the Philly, which was not. Um, I didn't pay for this one here. I paid for the Coles brand, which one I think was like $3 something. And whatever this one is, I didn't pay the difference on. So lucky me, I guess. Favorite olive spread. We almost go through a jar, a container of this a week. My husband has a little bit of bread with his butter. And my son has two sandwiches a day and three pieces of toast in the morning. And we go through a lot of butter. Um, I picked up some cooking butter. So we were doing a bit of baking over the holidays to start building up the stockpile for back to school next term. So muffins, muesli bars, slices, all that kind of stuff. I bought thickened cream because we're gonna have scones over the weekend. Or I might do like mini pikelets, mini pancakes. And we're gonna have like jam and cream on those as well. Um, fruit I got from my local fruit and veg man. I didn't get a lot. The mango is for me. He said he gets these mangoes from Northern Territory. And I had one the other week. It was a lot bigger than this. These are probably one of the sweetest mangoes I've had and I love mango season I love mangoes um, I don't know what these ones are called none of his stuff comes with stickers on them but on the box it says I just didn't pay attention but I think this was a dollar or a dollar twenty it's not a very big mango but this sweetest mango I have ever tried so it's a northern territory mango bring on mango season blueberries Really nice strawberries. My daughter picked out a couple on the way home. There was one there, one there, and one there. Uh, beautiful broccoli this week. Apples, I am cooking. In yesterday's video, you would have seen, or my latest video, I shared my curried sausage video. I had to think of that, curried sausage recipe. Using this salsa here, this is $1.50 pantry staple in our household from now on. I've had it for a while and I've done a few recipes with it. This is a pantry staple in our household. The Coles tomato salsa. It's $1.50. It is full of onion and capsicum. So I'm going to share a few meal ideas using the salsa. So I've got the curried sausage one that went up in my last vlog and the vlog that's coming after this one here, I am doing up a stew. So that will be going in, but I add more to mine. I just give you an option for like a cheap, basic feed the family, cutting back on things. But I did get a capsicum and a capsicum to add into it as well, as well as a tin of tomatoes. But stay tuned, every vlog I'm going to do moving forward. So I mentioned last week, every grocery haul, I'm gonna share my dinner planning with you. And then when I do these random vlogs on my channel, I'm going to attempt in them to cook something, whether it's um, biscuits or muffins or dinner ideas and give you a couple of options to do like a really cheap, like a real basic muffin or a real basic biscuit and then you can add a bunch of stuff into it. A real basic curried sausage, basic stew and then you can add a bunch of stuff into it to just give some ideas and help families along the way. Doing a bunch of cooking, I have found, I got you on the wrong shelf but anyway, Doing like massive days of massive bulk cooking uh, at the moment for me isn't working. We've got renovations going on, two very active children, and I'm exhausted after doing it, like absolutely exhausted. And I started not liking cooking. So I was just cook, 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 had all this stuff, had to store it somewhere. So I find now I'm cooking like bits and pieces every other day, every couple of days. I'll cook. Maybe I'll do like one batter but split it into three and we can have diff three different flavoured muffins. Um, so that's working for us at the moment but for me to share that with you, I think doing it in a vlog is the best way. So the more vlogs you watch, you should see more cooking in those. Um, dinners, lunches, breakfast is kind of stock standard. Maybe I'll do like a weekend breakfast, who knows. But that salsa, 
definitely get your hands on some of it for $1.50. It is very handy. Um, bananas, two cucumbers and a zucchini and plenty of pears. My daughter goes through two or three pears a day um, and an avocado for the weekend. Milk I've talked about. My biscuits I have talked about. This is the hand wash I got for half price and this is a taco kit I got for half price. You guys know I don't usually buy the taco kit. I find it cheaper to buy a salsa use it for tacos and then whatever we don't use I end up making like a dish out of it but this was half price so I got it for $4.25 and I got five taco shells five wraps and the spice mix and the salsa topping as well so pretty good price point so I grabbed that I've got two in stock but it's just handy to have I've got plenty of mints in the freezer I've always got a jar of this I've always got the taco seasoning so we can cook up a pretty quick easy dinner I've got enough lettuce in my garden now I can pick my own lettuce and we tend to always have tomatoes and carrot in our home. Jats crackers, I think they might have been like 20 cents off, but I need to get Jats crackers. My kids have not had these biscuits in ages. If you watch like way back when I was doing grocery hauls, this was like a weekly staple in our household. My son randomly asked me the other day, I'm like, it's school holidays, let's grab you some. I also grabbed some Arnott's arrowroot biscuits because arrowroot biscuits and butter, the best. So great snack for the kids. And just their toothpaste. Their toothpaste wasn't on sale, but it's $2. Um, so my kids prefer this toothpaste and I'm happy to give it to them. We have finally, finally worked our way down all those jars of peanut butter. We kind of went off peanut butter and now we're loving it again. Um, the Mavis jars used to be $5. I think they went up to $5.60, but this was on sale for $4.30 this week. So I grabbed one. I don't know the cycle anymore for the peanut butters. They used to go half price. So I'm hoping this one will get me through to the next sale. See how things go. Cat food, I don't need to explain that too much further. Pineapple because I'm planning on doing some pizzas in the coming weeks. I've got leftover brand from a few grocery hauls ago. She's just sitting in there. So um, I wanted to get some pineapple to use. And then we don't use all of the pineapple pieces on the pineapples, but the leftover pineapple I use and I do a sweet and sour chicken just by using, is it the Kant Canton? Canton sauce? Um, I've got one somewhere, but you know there's the Canton jar of sauce. I add in capsicum, onion, and pineapple, and the pineapple juice makes it just go even further, so that will get used there. I'm using a lot of fresh garlic at the moment, but minced garlic is just handy to have. I have one in the cupboard. I just thought I'd grab another one just in case. I'm, I'm doing a bit of just in case at the moment, given how um, things are performing in the kitchen industry in regards to food. I just want to make sure I've got some good staples definitely on stock. Uh, so I think it's a good idea to have like some frozen veg and tin fruit and that kind of thing. I'm not saying anything's going to happen. I'm just saying it's probably good to plan. So if I can't get something available, I've got options at home where I can still cook up something, even things like this. We're going into summer, but the minestrone soup that I love was half price, so handy to have. I haven't been able to get um, our favorite baked beans or our favorite spaghetti for a couple of weeks, and I wanna start stocking up on those as well. Just handy to have. Things are just handy to have in the pantry. I think we've all learned over the past couple of years. Make sure that you have got things to last you a couple of days just to get through. We're expecting some pretty extreme weather events to happen between now and February, uh, which could mean destroying crops, making it harder to produce in the factories because they've been inundated with water. So just want to make sure we're, we're going to be okay. I mean, I've got a fruit and veggie garden, garden growing. I've got a bunch of lime starting to take place and I've got lettuce but I mean I've got like 20 tomatoes this big that big tomato plant in my tomato garden it's all cherry tomatoes which is fine but don't think I could make like a soup or a stew from 20 tomatoes this big at the moment so handy to have some tin stuff available and bread I'm making it a little goal of mine now always to have a loaf in the freezer always want a full loaf in the freezer, which we have bits of it. Like I've got a full loaf in there. It's up the back of, that might be it there actually. That's my loaf of bread. Um, but I've always like, this is the, the crust of one, the crust of one, the crust of one, the crust of one. My husband uses them for toast, which is great. But I think always having a loaf of bread in the freezer. I still have my sourdough starter. Beautiful picture my daughter drew at daycare. Uh, I still have my sourdough starter here. 
that's it there. I put it in the fridge and it just pauses the like ferment and fermentation process. So I have my sourdough starter, worst case scenario, but you know, just, just to be a little bit prepared. Now, promised you dinner planning for the week. Should I take you over and show you what I have got planned? I've been organized. I've got it planned and let's have a look. So for the week, I have planned some crumb chicken. This is what came last week, the chicken mince last week. I'll be using those. The curried sausages. I use curried sausage sausages that were in the freezer, frozen veggies, and I've always got curry powder on hand and a jar of that salsa. Um, I've made that so I can just take it out and use it. It's actually currently sitting there so one will go in the freezer and one will get consumed nice um stew and mash which i need to make i've got it all sitting out i've actually even taken i'm going back and forth sorry i have taken out the meat which is a nice gravy meat i got from my sourdough starter i got from my butcher so this will be getting cooked up today really red plump meat. I'll put that into the sink. Um, and I'll be making a stew out of that. It'll probably just be stew and veg. I won't turn it into like meat pies or anything like that. Um, fish and veg. So I've got plenty of fish fillet fingers in, the, well fish, fish, fish fillets, fish fillets in the freezer. The kids want to have chicken nuggets. Uh, corn beef. Corn beef actually came from the farm. When did I do that farm shop? Quite a while ago now. I've still got two corn silver sides. So one of those will come up, come out, and we will make corned beef for dinner. And then for the next day or two, we will have corned beef sandwiches for lunch, um, corn salad sandwiches for lunch, corned beef pickle sandwiches for lunch. So I've got that there. I've got the homemade pizzas. So I've got enough to make homemade pizzas. And then I've just got like leftovers and fend for yourself. School holidays. This may change a little bit. We've got a few random play dates. Um, the kids have been asked to go to certain places with some friends. So maybe cooking a corned beef, I need to be home more for that. And it's not going to focus and I won't be able to. So a little bit of flexibility will come into here. But this is my dinner planning for the week. And you will see where everything has come from. I haven't purchased any meat this week apart from the chicken fingers and the chicken kievs. And I'm not cooking them apart from if we do the fish and veg, the kids may want fish, they may want the chicken nuggets. Everything else I have purchased over the weeks. The only thing I'm probably topping up on here is the fresh, fr uh, fresh, fresh vegetables and the pineapple for the pizzas. I even have, you're thinking, well, pizzas. I have got hot salami sitting in here in the freezer. I've got ham sitting here in the freezer. Everything goes into my freezer for weeks planning ahead. I've got chips in here along with another bag. I went through my freezer the other night and ooh, can I open that and have a look? Um, I've got a bag of chips down there because I plan to take the kids um, and have like a maybe ooh, 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 do like chip sandwiches for lunch one day in the backyard like a little mini picnic for them. So planning occurs well in advance. I could not feed my family from the stuff on here, but I just constantly top up on things. Constantly top up, constantly top up, and it just seems to give me so many more options when it comes to meal times instead of being like, well, we bought chicken this week and meat, and that's what we have to have for dinner. No, I've got a lot of flexibility I can do. I don't have any ham this week, but we fa fancy like a ham cheese tomato sandwich. I've got a block and a half of cheese in the fridge. I've got tomatoes I bought today, fresh, and I've got ham in the freezer. Could easily do it. I've also got a fridge that is, I'm very lucky, well stocked, I guess I could say. I've got plenty of stuff to get me through that. It's actually going to be dog mince there. I made a brownie. I mentioned this last week. I made a brownie slice. God, it was good. I'm going to have to redo it and share the recipe with you. My mum came over the other day and brought these for the kids. They haven't eaten them yet. Maybe it could be morning tea tomorrow for them. See how we go. Um, this is a loaf of bread from last week that we didn't end up using because my parents came over and they bought a big thing of bread rolls. So we use that. I got a couple of little muffins left here. I've got pancakes we made up the back there. I've got a capsicum and some tomatoes in here. Um, I'm pretty lucky and I've got a watermelon left over from the weekend still, which is still looking all right. We can use that, we can get away with that. So I've still got things that we can get through. I didn't end up doing that cheese board the other week. Cheese takes ages to go off. We haven't had 
uh, sushi yet. Haven't had my hummus dip. These were all bought the other week and I haven't even touched them. And that's my block and a half of cheese. And actually I've got a lot of milk sitting there. We will go through it, trust me. Um, I've got jelly I made up the other day. I've got pumpkin I've pre-cut from a week ago that I haven't used yet, I will. And I've got some meat pies in there that we cooked up and we can just like reheat them to use them. And I've still got plenty of fresh farm eggs. They are so yum, my kids love them. So that is where I'm sitting with things. I, I think I'm at a stage now where I'm pretty comfortable. I've got plenty of pantry things being stocked. It is, it is a slow process to build a stockpile. It takes a while to build a stockpile. It's not just something, well, I mean, you could if you wanted to go out and just buy like bulk in it and stock up. But I've done it through shopping sales and trying to stick within a bit of a budget for it. So I definitely think there are benefits to stockpiling. Um, I'm not talking going out and buying like 50 of these and storing them. I'm talking about like a reasonable stockpile for your family. Some things I stockpile and some things I'm like, well, until there was like inflation and inflation again, the prices kind of stay the same. So like the Coles brand stuff is pretty consistent with its pricing. It doesn't tend to change apart from the inflation. Um, but things like the brand and stuff, they go on sale. So I wait for sales. The Coles brand and stuff doesn't do sales. So I've, I've studied my grocery store. I've worked out their sales system. I've worked out what does go on sale, what doesn't go on sale. I've worked out the fruit and the veggies that are in season. I found local places to support, maybe offering a better discount on things. I've seen lots of things advertised at the moment about, um, I don't even know why they do it. Because for example, I've got this capsicum. This capsicum is totally fine, but I don't think Coles and Woolies sell fruit and vegetables that doesn't meet a certain criteria so i've seen lots of fruit and veg shops coming up now selling things that you can't buy in bigger fruit and veg like supermarket chains which is kind of weird but they sell it at a really good price so i'm not gonna lie it is a little bit it is so convenient just turning up to my Coles Click and Collect, grabbing everything and coming home. I now do Coles Click and Collect, I then swing past my fruit and veg man, which is on the way home, but I've got to stop off and get it. And then every couple of weeks we go to the egg farm, which is only like, it's close by to us. It's only like down the road, I guess you could say, but I've still got to go out and get it and come back. So it goes back to that thing I used to say, if you want convenience, you're going to pay more for it. Uh, if you want to cook it and bake it yourself, you will spend more time doing it. So I want to save a bit more money. So I'm spending more time going out and getting things. The convenience, having it on the one place is really handy, but I've definitely noticed I'm saving more money by doing it myself. Anyway, Grocery haul done, dinner planning is done for you. Stay tuned for more vlogs, because every vlog, the one just gone and the one coming have two meals in it, which, you know, you can buy any piece of meat and fruit and veg that you want to add into it itself. I'm just giving you like the basics on, you can still do a pretty good feed with some cheaper alternatives. But that is it. I'm still questioning, do I have cardigan on or cardigan off? I don't know, I'm really confused. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I'm gonna start editing this video and maybe by then I would have made the decision on what I'm gonna do. As in, do I have one or two of these or do I take the cardigan off? I don't know. I hope you enjoyed and we'll talk soon. Bye. I'm on my way now.